Yesterday, we introduced you to POW, a nonprofit based in San Diego that combines the physical benefits of mixed martial arts with the emotional benefits of a peer support network. As a part of our special suicide prevention coverage this month, we take a closer look at this unique approach to group therapy and introduce you to POW's founder, Army combat veteran Todd Vance. All right, time. Good round. All right, get your breath. That was a good round. So, fellas? But really, we're trying to learn something and get those repetitions in. How you guys doing tonight? Good. Todd right, Vance right. splits his time teaching mixed martial arts, working as a bouncer at a local San Diego bar, and expanding his program to help veterans transition ben arms. to civilian life. All right. I wanted to work with veterans somehow. But at the exact same time, I was also competing in professional MMA. And so I started thinking, why not combine the two, my two favorite things in life, it was helping vets and mixed martial arts, and do something that I could do for a career path. Get that breath going. It makes working all day on the program, training at night, and then working from 8 p.m. till 2.30 in the morning possible. A competitive fighter since his teens, Vance combined his three personal training certifications and his degree in social work to start PAP. Do you want your chest up? Pugilistic, offensive, warrior tactics. A mix okay, of pummeling, MMA, pummeling, looking for takedowns. yoga, exhale down, and group therapy. One, two, three, so I was running through some drills with guys that were Navy SEALs and they were in the military and a lot of them were Marines. And um, <clears throat> they ended up counting on my training and I started noticing improvements in their lives. The personal parts, the personal side of their lives were improving and not just the, the physical. Better communication with their wife, they said they were sleeping better, they weren't losing their temper as much. Real basic things like that. Vance is no stranger to the horrors of war. He was an army sergeant deployed to Iraq in 2004, a squad leader of the 3rd Striker Brigade, who led more than 250 combat missions. 75 successful raids. I'm taking care of my, my soldiers, and our job was to close within and destroy the enemy. So at night, we would do high value target raids where we'd breach, explosive breach doors, and snatch up the bad guys. We'd take the fight to them, you know? So that's what we were doing at night. In the daytime, a lot of the time was just trolling, so we'd drive around, wait to get hit by an IED or an RPG, and then try to chase after the bad guys. It was combat on a daily basis. Jab and move, Jamie. Use that footwork. Vance now uses his military and MMA training to help his students combat substance abuse. Up, 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 up. PTSD. Don't overthink it. Active. Stay active. Combat was easy compared to coming home. And I'll say that 100% of the time. I, you get trained, and your mindset, especially at the time, is aggressive, and it's adrenaline seeking, and it's alpha. You're young. You're, you think you're going to be OK you know, forever. And so when you're there, it's no big deal. But when you come home, all those close calls start coming back to you uh, in your sleep or, you know, what they call in social work, intrus intrusive thoughts. So we could be having a conversation like this, okay. but a, back a backfire of a car sets me off into this whole downward spiral of, of remembering different incidents over there. I gotta go back. Just like that. So where are they gonna send you? Right in the middle of it all? During emergency family leave, Vance unknowingly became the inspiration for the novel Dear John by best-selling author Nicholas Sparks, who happens to be his cousin. My family was out being there to support my mom, and so Nick, Nick was out there. And we talked around the campfire, we talked at night, and had some beers, and uh, he saw the girl that I was dating, and he saw kind of that whole thing, the girl that I met while on leave that he wrote, ended up writing about. And we stayed in touch uh, throughout the rest of my deployment via email. And next thing I know, you know, I'm teaching Muay Thai class at the gym, and my buddy's like, hey, check this out. And he pulls up the, the trailer for the movie, because I already knew the book had come out. In general, it's true, yeah. At first, I was super embarrassed and kind of angry that my personal life was out there, but I wouldn't have gotten a lot of attention in the beginning of the program without that. And so I'm thankful for it. It's super cheesy, but it's fine. <laughs> POW is a labor of love for Vance. He makes himself available 24-7. The POW program's a way of life. It's helped a lot of people, um, myself included. Driven to make sure his program and his students succeed. Okay, because the training is the metaphor for how you're living your life out there. I've gone through a lot of ups and downs in my life personally, but the program and the students have 
been there for me 100% of the time. It's about serv uh, serving them and getting them back on track. And honestly, I mean, talking about it, it gives me goosebumps. I mean, that's how motivating it is and that's how deeply it affects me. Todd Vance hopes to expand POW to more gyms across San Diego and eventually to other cities. Coming up tomorrow on DOD News, POW members share their stories of survival and recovery. For more information on the program, go to their website, powsd.org.